Are you considering a move to the high desert of Southern California? Wondering how much it costs to live in places like Victorville, Apple Valley, Oak Hills, or Hesperia? Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to break it down, the cost of living in this beautiful region and why so many people are choosing to call it home. From housing and utilities, to groceries and entertainment, education, I've got all the details for you. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, let's start with one of the biggest factors, housing cost. Here in the high desert, you can find a variety of housing options to fit your budget. According to Redfin, as of August 2024, the median home prices is as follows. Victorville, the median home price is around 438,000. Apple Valley, it's approximately 435,000. And in Hesperia, it's approximately 455,000. Compare that to Los Angeles or Orange County, you're looking at almost half the cost. And if you're not ready to buy, rentals are also quite affordable. I looked up on Zillow and this is what I found. For rentals, Victorville, you can find anywhere from 2,200 to 3,800. Hesperia and Apple Valley is about 1,800 to 4,000. These prices depending on how many bedrooms and how many bathrooms you need, one bed and one bath are about 1,500 to 1,700 a month. Plus property taxes are relatively low. There are no really sky high HOA fees either. So that makes it much more affordable. Next up is utilities. The cost of the utilities in the high desert is quite reasonable on the off season. They can get pretty hot here. So in the triple digits, even in the winter, it can get below 30. And especially it's really cold with the wind. The electric months you can, on the off months, you can spend anywhere from 50 to just 200, depending on the family size and house size. If you have poles, you know, that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind. Plus, on the summer months, the utilities do skyrocket. The summer, the electric will skyrocket. So it could be crazy, crazy. And I heard it's even gotten worse. We were paying about $700 a month in the summer months. And I've heard it's gotten worse. Um, we did get solar. Our highest bill in the summer was about 50 bucks from Edison and then about 30 bucks on the other months. So even with the payment of our solar, it's still, it's like worth it. So that's something you should do your homework on. Yes, expect to pay anywhere from $30 to $50 in the summer months, but those winter months do dip. So prepare to pay about $150 to $300 Again, factors like the family size, house size, and how cold you do get. We use electric heaters because that gets our gas bill lower. And then, of course, we gain more energy from not using the AC. Burning stoves are great and pellet stoves. So definitely do keep that in mind. For water, that depends on cities. I live in Apple Valley, and there's a few different water companies out here. Depending on which one you live in, and we pay about $75 to $100. Again, if you have pools, spas, lawns, and gardens, we'll make those bills higher. I have heard Apple Valley is higher on their water bill than other cities. We don't have lawns or anything or pools. <laughs> $120 for trash services. We do have a dumpster and they did recently change um, a rule where you have to have two and a half acres or more to have a dumpster. And then other than that, you will just get trash cans on wheels. Um, and that depends on the city with the pricing. Internet and cable can range from $75 and up depending on the package and service. We use Spectrum for internet and we pay about a hundred bucks, but that's it, just internet. We stream a lot of our movies and TV series. Um, I did come across a cool device that is all wrapped into one and it's a one-time fee, so pretty stoked on that. Um, but other than that, we would just pay for um, streaming services. And here is a tip, consider energy efficient appliances and maybe even solar panels, do your homework because those can save on energy costs. Next up, it's another important thing, cost to consider is owning a car. Um, when you pay around $4.39 to $4.69 per gallon of gas, 
yes, welcome to California. This is as of August 2024. So maybe we will see a change. We can only hope, right? Car insurance, the car insurance is going up. Um, average is, I guess, about 130, depending on the coverage you have. Mine was above that. Not much, but it is going up as of September. So that kind of pisses me off. But what are you going to do? It is a good insurance company. Um, so just check your policy. Transportation, we do have some buses um, that do run in all cities. So you can catch a ride even up to Big Bear from Lucerne Valley. But having a car is kind of a must because there is um, part of living in this outskirts and charm in it is we have the freedom. So the walking distance to other places aren't very close. Um, it's not like a huge city. There are places that are closer to shopping centers, but of course you're going to have to decide that. My favorite topic, groceries. <laughs> groceries have gone up significantly everywhere, but we still have Stater Brothers, Aldi, and Winco, which have great deals. Um, there is a grocery outlet coming soon to Apple Valley, so I'm going to have to check that out. Um, they do have a Sprouts here in Victorville. They are building one in Apple Valley, so I'm stoked. They are a little bit more pricier, but again, that's what you get for paying for organic. And organic is the way to go. And yes, it is expensive, but you also have to take care of yourself. So it is what it is to each their own. Um, depends on your monthly budget, right? Well, a weekly grocery trip for a family of four probably costs about $300 to $600, depending on where you shop and how much you do like organic pro products and how much you eat out and all that good stuff. We do have uh, markets here, so whatever your budget is, they got you covered. Um, unique family places are around. There is lots of eatery places. I mean, restaurants now cost between, you know, 20 to 30 bucks a person. Um, gosh, fast food's even getting up there as well. In and out is still the way to go, right? <laughs> Local restaurants, they have plenty here. Um, and don't forget the gratuity tip. That's not included in the meals. And don't forget to tape your waitresses and bartenders. But yeah, I'm going to definitely have to check out some more taco spots. I like Mexican food. So I'm excited for that. And that will be on in the upcoming video. So stay tuned. Entertainment, you know, you don't have to break the bank here in the high desert. We do have plenty of parks and hiking trails and community events that are either free or very low cost. Movie tickets are about 12 to 15 bucks, depending on the time of day, whether it's IMAX or 3D. And those D-Box seats, have you guys tried those D-Box seats? They're really, really cool with action and horror flicks. Those range between $19 and $23, but it is totally worth it. Um, there are local events happens, like the um, farmer's market, there's art shows, you know, parades, hysteria days. The bigger cities aren't that far, so you can even get away for the day or the weekend. But here we do enjoy a budget-friendly lifestyle. Education is also big to consider for the families in the high desert. Um, there are a variety of public schools and charter schools. The cost of private school ranges depending on the institution, but they are generally more affordable than in those larger cities. They are approximately about 6000 to probably 8500 for private schools. Public schools do offer transportation while charter schools, it is up to you to provide the transportation. But I did cover a lot today, um, the cost of living here. It is not out of your range to have the quality here and affordable housing if you're looking to buy your first home. It is a great place to get started. It's a laid back area, it has something for everyone. Um, so what do you think? If there is anything you think I missed, I will definitely cover it in another video. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to hear about, and I will be sure to cover it. But thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss an update about what's going on right here in the high desert of Southern California. And if you were thinking about buying a home or, you know, even interested, like check out my website, jump into my calendar. I'd be more than happy to give you more information. And if you have a home here and you want to sell it to maybe move into a bigger one or move out of state, I do have a free home evaluation on my website as well. So jump into my calendar and we could chat. So till next time, guys.